global central bank rate policy is a key driver of currency valuations. Simply put, if interest rates are higher in one country compared to its competitors, incentive exists to buy that country's currency in order to invest in their bonds at the higher rate. This effect is multiplied by the fact that countries with higher rates, usually that's an indication of a more robust economic condition in that country. The opposite is also true. With central banks' lower rates, it tends to weaken the domestic currency. The pandemic has drastically affected both monetary policy and fiscal policy. Has this lessened the direct impact that monetary policy has on a currency? The short answer to this is probably yes. During the last 18 months, global sovereign debt levels have exploded as countries have scrambled to provide stimulus to suffering economies. In the U.S. alone, the national debt has risen from 23 to almost 29 trillion. It would seem reasonable that these huge debt levels have grabbed a greater share of influence on the domestic currency. Historically, profligate spending countries have been punished with a weaker currency. When all countries seem to be engaged in similar activities, it might be hard to gauge the effect it's having. In recent days, the Fed has begun to talk of taper and long-end rates have shot higher. This has, in fact, been accompanied by a higher dollar. So although the relationships have changed, traders still need to be cognizant of both fiscal and monetary pressures on the currency.